right, you ready to hit the road? Yeah, hope I remember how to drive. I know, that's how I felt too, <laughs> with just getting everything ready, but that's why checklists help. But anyway, if you missed our previous video as to why we are leaving, in the middle of a pandemic <laughs> to another site you can go watch that other video here but otherwise let's hit the road a long drive let's yep. go <laughs> We just left Love's. Our drive has been going phenomenal, actually, knock on wood. Obviously, there's not a lot of traffic. Is that a pig? There's a pig in there. Uh, anyway, um, obviously, there's not a lot of traffic. Um, and what was super weird was we just went through Vegas. And obviously, there's nobody on the strip. So even from the freeway, like all of the side streets were empty, all of those parking lots that you know are like 10 stories tall on their own were empty. It was, it's so creepy. But anyway, so we wanted to talk to you about loves because um, thankfully we're able to, to still take advantage of our TSD, right? I just call it TST for some reason, our TSD card. <laughs> Um, if you haven't heard of it yet, it's, uh, if you have diesel, uh, it's really helpful because you just get discounted rates. I mean, you can explain it a lot better than me, but. Yeah, so it's just a, like a corporate fuel cart and usually like truckers and logistics companies negotiate cheaper rates. Whoa. <laughs> um, based on like the amount of like diesel that they use. And so TSD had the brilliant idea of bringing RVers into it because then they get to negotiate better rates because they're selling more diesel and it brings their actual like truck fuel prices down. So it, it's amazing. It's uh, diesel only for now um, and you get the best rates at Love's. So we always stop by, but you get to use the cart out at the pump, which is really, really nice because uh, previously you would have to go inside. But uh, the, the TSD discount right now, plus the incredibly low price of oil, yeah. means that uh, we paid how much for per gallon? The sign said that diesel was going to be two ninety four, and I just looked at the app, and we paid one sixty six. So, nice. Al almost half off. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, it's it's been nice. So thankfully, this moving trip isn't costing us too much um, in fuel, which is really nice. I know it makes us want this uh, this whole quarantine to come to an end so we can travel and take advantage of these super low oil prices. I know. So that's actually something else that I've been thinking a lot about. I have to admit, when we left this morning, which is why we didn't vlog too much in the morning, um, I was feeling a lot of mixed emotions, but mostly like anxiety is of hitting the road because someone had mentioned they're not moving their RV because they don't want other people to see their RV and then be encouraged to then go RVing if they had an RV. I mean, <clears throat> you know, everyone has their different reasons, but I was a little stressed out of like, yeah, I don't want to send the message that everyone should be hitting the road. And then are there going to be state restrictions? Anything we looked up, there wasn't. So I, I wasn't too worried about that, but it was just more so this thing of like, you're supposed to be sheltering in place and we're moving. So I had a lot of anxiety around that, but, um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better now, so it's it's mixed emotions because we have been, truth be told, itching and chomping at the bit to get back on the road, and like we we 
really want this to be over, but you know, we also understand that we really need to do our part to make sure it doesn't spread more than it already is. So, I mean, we're still planning, even if quarantine gets lifted, like we're still planning on spending the month in Utah, just because we also want to be a little extra careful. If everything does get lifted, I don't think we want to be those first people out. <laughs> yeah, I think our whole summer plans have kind of changed. Yeah. And we're still planning anyway, even after it lifts, to still do more, maybe more national parks, more hiking, more yeah. uh, state parks, just away from other people as much yeah. as we, we can, which is which is interesting. So I'm wondering, uh, comment down below what, what your plans are when they, they yeah. end quarantine. Are you gonna go back and try to... Are you gonna be some of the first people out? Are you gonna be the first people at Disneyland? I'm sure there's <laughs> not gonna be anyone there, you know. Right, so. which could be nice because you're taking advantage of all the rides, but they are also risky. Yeah. Getting so, sick, yeah. So what's your risk level? Yeah, where, where, what comment are you gonna do? Below, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, so I've had mixed emotions of like, this is, oh, it like feeds our souls to be on the road. I know that sounds like really hippy dippy, but that's the only way to describe it. And so being out and traveling and like hitting the road again has felt so good. And then in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, you're gonna be quarantined for another month. <laughs> so it's this mixed emotion of like, half feeling normal and then half having that realization of like oh things aren't normal yet so it's bittersweet for sure Justice, you know? No. So, this is the Virgin River Gorge, and it's a really interesting uh, valley on the 15, uh, because you go from Nevada to Arizona for like 20 miles, and then to Utah, and it's, it's where like, you start getting closer to Utah and excited for like the red rocks, and you get these very dramatic uh, rock faces here. And our first time driving through here was actually coming south. We flew up to buy our truck in Montana, uh, bought it up there, and then took the 15 south all the way down to uh, Los Angeles. And driving through here on our second day, mm -hmm. the beginning of our second day, we hit like a bump and the truck started to shake, which we later learned was called a death wobble. And it's just a problem with, uh, I guess, the, like four four wheel drive, stiff axle vehicles. And I had just like gotten too close to the edge and hit a bump and just caused it to start shaking and it scared the crap out of us. Oh yeah, we were freaking out. And, and we had just bought this new truck and we had just driven, you know, 300 miles from Montana to here. And this is our second day and we we're like, oh my God, what did we do? Yeah. We just bought a lemon used. <laughs> um, but knock on wood, it has not ever happened since. And we even had it double checked. Like everything's yeah, we fine. took it to a mechanic again immediately, immediately yeah. when we got back to LA. And yeah. He didn't find anything. Yeah, so yeah. so I just happened to hit something really weird, but it's kind of a tighter canyon anyway, and so now we've gone through here a couple of times, and every time I'm just like, just get a little nervous, because when it was shaking, <laughs> there was nowhere for us to pull over, because we're in the middle of a canyon. There's no like side of the road. Yeah, but thankfully the car's behind us. So also, it just was a semi behind yeah, us, it was and we all slowed down. And like, yeah, he was on top of it. Yeah. He was able to slow down. Also, as an FYI, just in case you do get the death wobble, um, we learned you stop it literally by just slowing down. Yeah. You have to get below like 50 miles an hour, and it will. It's like once your wheels get like spinning and the, the death wobble starts, it's like rocking in that certain motion. So yeah. you have to stop that motion by just slowing down. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Very technical with the yeah. hand movements yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> but 
yeah so I still love love this canyon although it does still scare me um, <laughs> and of course they're doing construction today so it was even it was thinner and yeah. yeah I think there was 10 feet and we have an eight foot wide trailer so yeah but yeah it's beautiful you start to, to see the the red rocks which is amazing always exciting <laughs> All right, guys, so I think it's safe to say we've made the right decision. Um, it's been less than 24 hours, but we are already so much happier here. We spent yesterday just setting up, took a little walk in the evening with Carmen, and it's just a nice resort, a nice place. Um, I can already feel after one day my allergies getting better, which is amazing. So I'm really hoping to see like significant improvement in a week, um, but, yeah, I don't know. What what are your initial thoughts? Yeah, I, I love it. We have very, very fast internet and the campground internet is actually not bad. We just happen to have faster cell internet yes. or we're not limited, I guess. It's probably what the real thing is. <laughs> um, and so we're, we're using AT&T and it works amazing. We're getting like almost like 50 50 meg down which is like almost what we had we had more at our house but it's more like house internet versus uh yeah like 3g 4g that we're we've been used to for the past month right yeah so we're very excited we um went on our walk this morning and then we wrote down some goals of stuff that we wanted to get done so i'm feeling really good about the internet here the location everything just this was a much better decision for us so I'm glad we made it and we are in such a positive mood that we decided to do another giveaway. So, um, ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, here's our little giveaway box of stuff that we have been accumulating. All right. So what are you feeling today? <laughs> I don't know, there's a lot of... Decisions, decisions. You wanna, wait, you wanna do something for the Grand Design owners? Sure. All right, so we have two Grand Design bags, but we'll do one Grand Design bag. How about that? And what's in there? Oh yeah. Ooh. Yetis. Ooh. Oh yeah, so we have two of these that we use. Uh, it's probably best we, forgot these were in here because we would have gone through all of them. We love Yetis. So yeah, let's do a Grand Design Yeti um, with the bag. And what else is in there? Just, oh, we have two more Yetis. Oh, and then, okay. All right, we'll save those for later. Let's not get excited here. Ooh, a cutting board oh, and yes. knife. So like maybe like a cheese set that'll go with that Yeti. Ooh. So like, you can put some wine in that Yeti. <laughs> like we do, <laughs> you know, like I do. Um, Okay, so this ripped, but it is not used, okay, people? <laughs> All right, so I like that. Let's do the cutting board, the Yeti, and the bag for grand design owners. So, what do they need to do to enter to win? If you want to win this and you're a grand design owner, uh, in the comments, put GDRV for life and what rig- Hashtag. Hashtag GDRV for life <laughs> and what RV you have, what yeah. model. Yeah. Um, or if you're a potential grand design owner, feel free to enter as well. But yeah. This is all branded merch, so. Yeah, I guess you might. The reason we do that and we direct it towards grand design owners is because we figure if you have another RV, you don't want to be owning, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, merch that has another RV company <laughs> on it. Right. Maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, yes, okay, do that, I like that. And then we'll randomly pick a winner and announce it in another vlog. The rules are very loose here with these daily vlogs. 
Um, other than that, we'll show you a little bit more. We'll take you on a walk with us one morning, show you the campground a little bit more. There's a little river out here. Um, yeah, so anywho, hope you guys are doing well, staying healthy and safe, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.